Hi guys, today I am going to show you how to do object detection and tracking in MATLAB with the help of YOLO detector deep learning technique. So it's a difficult one, so you need to listen it carefully. So first of all, just create one folder. So inside that folder, you just keep all the files, what are the object you need to track or detect. So I have taken here bus, car, truck and van. So if you open this folder, I am taking some bus images, some car images and some truck images as well. So, so first we need to train our network. So for training we need to label, uh, we need to label the data. So for that we need to first to open the image labeler app so for that you just type image label in the command window then just give enter so we need to label the training data for that just to open the image labeler application then mm, give the label name object then go to import and import the data go to object detector vehicle detect full data car like this you can select and you can load the data so it it is now loading here why because we need to label our input data so that only the network will train the data based upon this object so once loaded we can just label the data like this You can take any kind of this one car data. Likewise, we need to do it for all the remaining object as well, like bus, van, and truck also. So once you labeled, then you go to export, then to workspace. Here you have to select the table. Then you can you can give your own name. Here I am putting triple A then you ok so automatically so already existed showing that so so we can we have to use another variable to workspace double a double a table ok so all the labeled information is now transferred to the workspace so once transferred we need to save the data so save of take one variable a1 one dot mat mat comma double a double a so double a double a is our uh, that labeled information and a11 is our output data mat file so automatically the file has been stored here a double on that this is the label data so now the training has been completed we have labeled the data as well so now i'm telling you how to write that program so first we need to set the size of the image then we need to load the data that label data right now so number of classes one now we are going to only detect the object from the background then you select some anger box then uh, we are going to extract the features from the residual network so we need to use the resnet 50 we need to split the layers input layer middle layer and the final layer so this is the base network then we have to take the feature layer from the 
residual network here i have taken the activation for tsa feature layer so once we extract the feature layers we need to construct the yolo yolo layers so here we need to provide the image size number of classes anger box and base layer and feature layer after that we need to provide the training options after that we need to train our yolo detector train yolo to object detector here we need to provide the vehicle data set and the uh, uh, network and the uh, training options so now the detection has been completed uh, here the line number 56 the training has uh, training will go on and now the training once the training is completed we can check our input with the detector whether it is detecting or not so after that we need to classify our, our output so because for detecting we, we have only the taken the object only here we are not specifying the any classes so separately we are doing the classification here so for that for classification i have taken five classes bus car truck and van so just to feeding that particular location then data set file data store we are uh, just reading all those datas then again we are creating a residual network for classification initially we uh, we used testnet for detection so it's only detecting the object once the ob object has been detected we are going to fake classify whether it is bus or car or van or truck like that so for for classification also we are taking we have taken the residual network here so once the network design again we need to train this network with the help of train network here we are we are providing the train data layer graph and options so so once you trained uh, we can save that particular training variable then we can load it because it is taking too much time that's why I already trained and save the data in the name of new train dot match so this is the trained output so just I am loading that data after that we are providing our input here we are going to give a video data to track the object so we use the video reader here then we are saving our data uh, output in a particular file then we are extracting the frames one by one i'm just extracting 200 frames here then reading the frame one by one resizing then we are detecting our object with the help of that detector so once detected after that again we are cropping that particular area then resizing it then we are classifying it whether it is a bus or car or uh, truck like that so once the output is car the label will be one truck means label will be two uh, that bus means predict will be three like that so five classes we have four classes we have taken if nothing detected means we have taken as a none then we are just inserting that object annotation in the form of rectangular then the positions then the class then writing the video once uh, the video has been written again we are still loading that video and just displaying our output finally we are comparing with the ground truth and finding the true positive true negative based upon that finally we we are calculating the accuracy sensitivity specificity so this is the full program uh, now i am going to run the program now we can understand that how it's working first the layer has been constructed you can see the command here once it's completed it's going for training here i am not doing any training already i have trained and i have just loaded that data otherwise it will take more time to training the data because here I have commanded this line in detector line number 56 so now it's asking to 
give the data here i am giving the test3.mb4 you can see in the left side test3.mb4 once you give the data it is taking the frames one by one then detecting now, now we can see it here so i is the number of frames uh, this is the corresponding labels the frames has whether car or banner like that now it's going the frame number 69 70 71 i have given the uh, number of frames here i have given us 200 so it's going up to 200 so we have to wait for a little time for processing each and every frame then one more thing um, when you take the data all the data should be the same size so you have to resize it for that only i have used the argumentation argumentation i used for resizing the data and uh, creating a more number of samples so that we can get the better accuracy if we provide the more samples and the yolo is the best detector yolo v2 v3 v5 everything it is a well known detector nowadays people are used to detection for object detection and tracking they used to this yolo only it's a powerful detector so again it's going 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 to 190 194 85 like that once 200 is completed Yes, I have given only 200 frames to detect those objects. 196, 197. They are completed. Now it's going to display the results. Yeah, the results came. So now we can see that these are the car. Uh, this is the van. This is the bus. This is the van, car, bus. Yeah, actually, almost it's detecting well, but some misclassification also is there. So, we need to provide better training. So, here we are getting the accuracy of nearly 0 0.75 because we used to only less data only. So, I am now again, I am running one more data. For if you are again if you want to run for again means no need to run fully you can select and run so you can select from the 197 to 398 and give the evaluate selection just to one dot mb4 so here uh, this is the video Again, it's go, it will go up to 200. Seventy, seventy-five. So this detector not only for detecting the vehicles, we can use it for in detecting any kind of objects but the training is very important we need to carefully handle the training oh yeah you can the back side view also it's detecting the car is detecting here not only from the front view you can detect in the car from the back side view also as well as in the car in the time of occlusion also it's detecting because it's a powerful one so we need to be careful about the training and labeling so if you provide the better training and labeling data means automatically it detects now we are getting the accuracy nearly 100 percent nearly 99 something the precision as well 
so oh, again one more data i'm trying same vehicle only now i am going to give a test dot in before so we can uh, the we can uh, we can use the same system for person detection face detection uh, human tracking mm, other kind of what to say train tracking or mm, uh, the animal tracking so everything we can use the same system yolo yolo system so we can uh, we can use you can see the results actually this is this video taken from a traffic so it's a car So when you uh, there is no vehicle means you can see the output here as a none nothing will be coming so we can get the result as none that's why i run this video as well yeah now nothing is coming means automatically we can get the output as none if the vehicle comes means automatically detecting the vehicle and tracking and labeling it as whether which one is good or bad now we are getting the precision is 98.5646 so <coughs> so it's a simple one only but you have to be careful just i am dragging all the program once again so that you can type it and you can try to run it there so very very important first we need to label the data then we have to store it then you can train it here i am not doing any training i just load that trained out outcome and test it okay hope it's everything understood for you if anything if any doubt means you can ask me and you can whatsapp me and you can mail me okay thank you thanks for watching